Here we go. Just as I predicted, now we're playing with the big stuff. The N-word, that is, the nuclear word, is now being used front and center all over the world. This situation was caused by us. It's what happens when you have incompetent people running your government. All I can say to you is, right now, drop down and pray. to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. They want you silent. It is a disgraceful thing that Joe Biden refuses to help or comment on the tragedy in Maui just as he refused to help or comment on the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, for a very, very long time. In any event, hopefully everyone will be able to pull together so that a horrible situation does not get even worse. To the families affected, I give you my love and sympathy. Nothing can ever replace your loved ones, but you will always have the memories and will feel their great love surrounding and embracing you Together, we will continue to carry their legacy forward, and I love you all very much. Thank you. That we don't matter, and it's because we're not important to them. To the U.S. government, to President Joe Biden, do something. Help your people. Right, you served as the vice president to a guy that graduated from Punahou. you got to be doing something right now. Send in the military. Send in resources. Right, send medicine, food, water. Right, you better be sending gas. You guys have been spilling fuel on Oahu, contaminating Hawaii's water for years. We know you got it. Right, send it over. And by the way, since you guys already showed how incompetent you are, when you start finally deciding to send some real aid Hawaii's way, you better let the community leaders in Lahaina that are saving us right now direct those resources. And you better let them have a say and be in charge of what we need as Hawaiians to help rebuild the west side of Maui. Stop 